Hey guys, the Under Armour All-American game was yesterday, and right now I want to go through the five quarterbacks that played, and a few players that stuck out to me, a few players that are going to be ready to contribute right away, not necessarily start, but they're going to be ready to contribute. There's a difference. Look it up. Okay, and it's going to be a little touch and go because I'm watching the Rolls Bowl and trying to do this video at the same time, so just go with me on this. Just stay with me. Anyway, the first quarterback is Avery Davis, the Notre Dame commit. He is going to be in a situation where he is going to be fighting for that starting job because Deshaun Kaiser applied for the draft. His backup in the league, Zaire, is transferring or has already transferred. I'm not sure about that. Somebody can fill me in the box below or in the comments below. Sorry. <laughs> like I said, it's going to be a little touch and go. But from when I saw him, He's not ready to start because he struggled with his accuracy. He was missing some receivers. I know that's pretty much the same thing, but I got to say that. And he just looked uncomfortable within the pocket. That's about it. He just looked uncomfortable. He's got to work on some issues. And by the way, if you want to watch this game, just look it up on YouTube. It is on here. Just type in Under Armour All-American Game 2017 and you'll find it. Trust me. Now, the second quarterback is Tommy DeVito. He, the Syracuse commit, he struggled. And it wasn't all his fault. He did miss on some throws. But when I saw all day, his receivers were dropping passes. His line was not protecting him. It was not all his fault. So I wasn't sure if he's going to be ready to compete for the starting job just yet. Not sure on that. It's I just didn't know because of those problems. Now, Kasim Hill, the Maryland commit. He had a really solid game. The thing that stuck out most about me was that two-minute drive. He's the one that did the two-minute drive at the end of the half, and he perfected it. He threw it where we had to throw it outside so that his receivers get out of bounds, and he made sure that he made the right throws. He got him into position to get a field goal, which they did. Also, he's the perfect fit for Maryland's offense because he can run too. He's maybe a pocket passer, but... Don't be fooled. He can run. And you will see that when you watch this game. Uh, Miles Brennan, the LSU commit. One of the LSU quarterbacks that was actually there. But the other one did not play. But he had a really solid day. He, I think he's going to be ready to compete for the starting job with the other quarterback. Even though he'll arrive on campus late. Oh, and the thing about Hill, he will be ready. He's going to compete. Not sure if he's going to win. But he's going to compete. It's either going to be him, he's either going to start, or he's going to redshirt. Back to Brennan. Brennan had a really solid day. He didn't have the best day because there was one that was better, but he had a really good day. He was hitting on the throws, and he just knew where to throw it. He just knew where to throw it. That's all I'm going to say on that. Finally, Kellen Ma, the IMG quarterback, the Texas A&M commit, he had the best day. He was rough. He knew when to run. He knew when to pass. He did a great job. I remember this one play. He was trying to find... It was just running outside the pocket. And he found someone. When it looked like it was dead. I thought he was gone. thought he was throwing it away. But no. He found a receiver. And he... I don't remember if, it was, if he was open or not. But he just threw it to a place where the receiver could get it. And it was a first down catch. First down, throw and catch. So, that was a great play by Kellamon. He's going to be ready to start if he wins the job. I think he'll be ready to start from day one, to be honest. That's my opinion. And it may not be your opinion, but it's just mine from what I saw in the game. And I did see a couple of games with him. I saw the first game against Grayson, and he had it was a really good day. That was a really good game. For him, he just took the team on his back. That's all I'm going to say. He's a natural leader. And I can go on and on about his game, but I'm not going to. But a few players stuck out for me. One was Dylan Moses, the Alabama commit, also from the IMG Academy. You're going to hear about one more, so I'm just going to say that right now. He had a really good game. Even when he didn't make the play, he was somehow involved in that play. That's what you want to see out of your linebacker. Alabama got themselves a great player. I mean great. And he's an early enrollee, so he's going to be on campus this month, later this month. 
that's the best part about it. Later this month, he'll be on campus. He's going to start right away. Trust me. Or at least contribute right away. I have a feeling. But I think he'll start his freshman year. Maybe not right away, but he will start. Trust me. And then again, it is Alabama. Maybe he might. He may, may not. But he'll be ready. He will be ready. The second one, his teammate, Josh Kingdo, used to be a Maryland commit. Now he's a Florida State commit. He's going to be ready. He had the best game out of the defensive line. Okay, best game out of the defensive line because he was just all over the place. He made, he wreaked havoc in the passing game. He knocked down a pass. I think he didn't get a sack, but he got a hurry. Um, And he just made plays in the running game, too. He is a complete defensive end, or at least that's what he's going to turn into. Not sure if he's there just yet. <laughs> USC just scored. I told you it was going to be touch and go. But he'll be ready to come. He's going to be ready right away. And that was a great game by him as well. And Jeff Thomas probably had the best day by a by an offensive player because he had two really, really great, not good, great receptions for touchdowns. Watch those plays. They were great. Here's a guy. He's a four-star receiver. He's from Illinois. He's from Illinois. And his hometown is the crystal ball right now on 24-7. But that could change. That really could change at the end of the recruiting season because he may not because he's not he's not going to commit until probably national signing day, and that's another month away. So it could heat up at the end. That's all I'm going to say. And the last thing was Team Armors. Yeah, it was Team Armors um, offensive line. The offensive line did great. They were opening up lanes. They were they were protecting the quarterback. Sorry. Protecting the quarterback. They did a great job in that game. Partly the reason why Team Armor won. The offensive line did a great job. And just all the running backs that I saw, all the running backs, I thought, well, most of them, I can't name names right now because, well, really, well, really, I forgot to take a look at who played. But most of these running backs, they did a great job, and I think, and most of the running backs that played, they're going to play right away. All right, they're going to play their freshman year. That's what I saw. Most of those running backs, because they made plays all day. There were there were plays being made all day by those running backs. All right, that's it. I'm done. Listen, guys. The finalist for the Hall of Fame is going to be out tomorrow. The next day, I will do a video about that. And then the day after, I will make my Super Bowl prediction, my playoff predictions. Should have reversed that. Sorry. But that's what I'm going to be doing within the next few days. So it's going to be a busy week. It will be a busy week for me. I'm out of school right now, so just wait until the 30th. So a lot of videos could be coming out around this time. But definitely the Hall of Fame. I want to get into that because I really like the Hall of Fame. And the playoffs, definitely. I got to do that. So, see you guys. Thanks for watching.